Worked anyway. You have to do some BM. Uh, three and four? <laughs> Look, mommy, it's a lot of damage now. Get that weak stuff out of here! The 14th attack on him. Yeah, boy. Now it's done. What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we're trying OTK Pecanolith. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, what we're trying to do is to play this card onto the field. It'll make plants and zombies attack using their health uh, instead of their um, uh, normal attack. So uh, the idea is to stick a uh, one or more great responsibilities on them, essentially doubling that plant's power and then use uh, Time to Shine, which is one of the powers here uh, in order to do a bonus attack you can also alternatively use plant food if you do have uh, the setup. So this is an expensive sort of um, setup. Uh, it doesn't seem like this is even really possible to do until turn 6. You really want to play the Peconolith on 5. It does make all of your guys attack with their health, so it doesn't necessarily have to be the Peconolith doing the combo. Maybe it could even be the super high health Primal Walnut doing this combo. Uh, this should be fine. We're using Bananasaurus Rex just in case the Peconolith combo does not uh, sort of work. You can also really do it independently with Health Knot. Just if, to think if you have Health Knot, Six Sun, and like two great responsibilities. So the Health Knot will be then have 16 of power, and then you can use Time to Shine and do a bonus deck for 16, which will usually finish off opponents. Uh, the Nuts and stuff is just to control in the early game. I have been trying decks kind of recently. Um, when you're actually, instead of removing everything your opponent plays off the board, you kind of build a wall. Build a wall. And uh, then, uh, you really, when you play Peconolith, all these guys end up having a lot of attack. Uh, so it is a control deck. We're controlling until you get to the late game. Sometimes Bananasaurus Rex is going to be enough to get it. Spikeweed Sector for environments. It's just a little water lane presence with the uh, Peconolith. It's a nice control wall card, too. I think this deck could be okay. We don't have a lot of win conditions, but we'll hopefully draw some for Primal Walnut. This does conjure a card that costs four or more. Let's give it a shot. Let's see how this goes. Hope you enjoy. Right into it. Uh, Fortnite. Why is everyone talking about Fortnite? We hate Fortnite here. Fortnite's kind of fun. I still play Fortnite with friends every once in a while. Let's get right into it. Let's get right in. What's going on, Tokyo Dribbling person? How you doing? What do you guys think? Collar of the sweater up? Or down. Fashion tips with Fry em Up. That's what I'm talking about. I think up is just more cozy. Not presents. Presents. Do you recommend crafting Banana Star Strikes for beginner players? It's it's a decent card to craft if you're gonna concentrate on the Mega Girl. It's kind of auto include in a lot of Mega Girl decks. Two of these. I think the high health is very good against Brainstorm. It's gonna have a hard time here. This is an ultimate league. Should we just say we're we're against Valk? <laughs> we won! Yes! We won! Oh, we are the winners, and you suck. Okay. Got it. And thank you so much, Tokyo Drift Balim. Drift Balim. For subscribing with Twitch Prime. If you guys got Twitch Prime, get the free Twitch sub. If you got Amazon Prime, get the free Twitch sub every month. Thank you so much for supporting the stream. All proceeds from donations and Twitch Prime subs go directly to peanut butter sandwiches for Baby Fry. He loves them. He loves them. They're great. Keep it going. Um. Uh, is this the same guy? <laughs> the same guy. Hilarious. Ooh. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Damn. Damn, son. Damn. Let's just do this to annoy him. <laughs> oh, he didn't get a Valk, so he quit. Was that, was that what happened last game? I'll only be doing one damage at a time now. Until this guy dies a miserable death. Damn, damn. 
Okay. Is this the same dude? Might as well. Face! Oh, ho, ho. that's pretty ballsy, I must say. All right, so Valk's at two. Just stalling for time. Oh! We ignore this completely. Drawing cards when he stands on <laughs> going face again. The <laughs> Valk is at four now. Sadness. I am sadness. Conleth is a really good answer to Valk because Valk can never do more than six damage. Hopefully, he's not running for the cake. I'm gonna build a wall, okay? Alright. That's what's going on. The cards are real. I should just be playing cards in the spike weight sector. Come on. Come on, man. I'm gonna build a wall, okay? Ha ha ha! stupid zombies! You're not getting anywhere! Called the immigration reform deck. What is this? The bonus deck. You know. Um, Valk will be at six now. We've got this full block meter. We want to keep the block meter full like this. Conleth is going to wreck some tokens right now. <laughs> moving around, moving around. Come to town. This is how we're moving around. Moving around. Wow, wow, the OTK is eminent here. We gotta just proc the block. Dudes. The OTK is real. This is the this is actually gonna survive. I think this is doable. Look at what we have next turn. We have a guy with two okay, that's one. Big whoop. Val can only do six. Ugh. It doesn't help, man. Delta 6 on empty block meter. This does another 6 right here. Why are you not blocking this? Trying to block the 6 something. Let's synchronize him. We would have died anyway. Alright, he's down to 3. I want to do a big OTK play, but it's. Okay, we're just going to BM him to the Ice Age because he's freaking. Yes, we're doing it! We're doing it! It's the dream! This is going to be BM value against a stupid Brainstorm deck. Everyone hates Brainstorm. Come on. It's a fact. So we're going to do. Oh, this is going to be so good! This is gonna be so Gucci. Gucci. <laughs> Don't concede! I need to kill you! <laughs> Do not concede! The Conolith is, is an answer to Valk. It's always been an answer to Valk, which is one reason why Valk decks need to run uh, exploding fruitcakes. The two answers are Piconolith and, and Wingnut. Come on! Don't concede! Don't you even think of conceding! Don't... Don't get seen. <laughs> Come on, I want to do it. I want to kill you. <laughs> get that weak stuff out of here. That's right, beat this guy twice in a row. That is what I'm talking about. Ha, 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 ha. He just threw his phone in the lake because he knew he had zero chance. Zero chance. Okay, but theoretically, if we would have played Primal Walnut, great responsibility would have been to 18. Another great responsibility would have been... 36 damage, time to shine. Oh, it's harsh. It's harsh, you guys. That's what I'm talking about. Did Kaman used to do damage when anyone drew cards? No. No, it was only when it was always only when your opponent drew a card. It just used to have extra health, which was disgusting. Daily? I'm gonna do the daily at three. It hasn't even dropped right here. Oh yeah, probably dropped. This is a great answer to OTK Valk, all these decks with the Pecanolos in them. I'll definitely take it. Um, one, two, three, four. It's a curve. It works. It works. It bup ba da bup lurks. 
It jerks. It flirks. It burps. I don't even know what I'm saying. Yeah, the BM of this deck is going to be real. Time to shine is so important. I, I should almost be running Split P just to put damage on our face. Split P also does work be well behind our turn one plays. Pretty well. Maybe I should get rid of the uh, Water Chestnuts and put in a couple Split Ps. You can see that working. And twerking. And lurking. And jerking. And... Okay, it's a pet deck. Captain Obvious says, it's a pet deck. Scrust Squirrel is the almighty answer to this deck. Yeah, you're right. We gotta watch out for Squirrel in this pet deck. Yeah. We're back with the red cups, you guys. Red cups are amazing. Go buy red cups. Plus, if you have a pet bull, they'll try to destroy the red cup, which is perfect, if you think about it. Um, pass. Yo, dead, little garlic, little garlic getting it done, when, winning the trade. Yeah, weed sprays are kind of sad. So if he passes here, we'll pass as well. If he passes here, we'll pass as well. We'll <laughs> I'm a professional. You wish you were a professional. You're just an amateur man. Who would even have a pet bull? I don't know. Rolling Stone and Weed Spray Hero time to lose? No, we're definitely gonna win. Listen, you, ha you just have to play around. We have enough things that play around Weed Spray. That's one, another reason why the pair comes again. You pair cut me up so good. Keep it going. Keep it going. Be Rex. Get Rex. Rex group. Ah, he does have a few things that can take this out. I, I think. Plus, weed spray doesn't even kill this card. I think let's do this. Where's Pecanolith? Give me Pecanolith right now. <laughs> Laser beam. It's not bad. And uh, nine damage. I'm joking! Joking! You guys. I just didn't want to get, like, you know, knocked out by the smash. Ugh. Come on! Pecano! Damn. Eight. Ah, uh, seven, eight, nine. What is this? Freaking kidding me! Man. Kill you! <laughs> What's he gonna do? Knock out? Like a scrub? <clears throat> I don't know. I think killing this is pretty necessary. It's turned five already. I think it's zombotted. I think I need to use the time to shine here. It's really sad, but that's basically our OTK going in the garbage. We don't even see the thing yet. Do you know the thing? You know what? Let's do it this one. <laughs> He's just gonna knock this out, though. Eh, I should've, I should've not done that. That was a waste of the grape. Maybe he doesn't have it. Maybe he's bluffing. Why did I use the great power? I just saw it and I was like, eh, running out of time. I'm thinking more knockout than rolling stone. Just based on how many... He's been leaving three brains every time. Smash is super. It's okay. It makes the banana. He wouldn't have necessarily wanted to use Smash as super before, and now it makes the B Rex kind of better. I'm a pickle. This is garbage. What is the 
is garbage. I'm accepting my garbage. <laughs> it's a freaking laser bean, okay? <laughs> That's from the 90s. I don't even know how to do it. I don't think I've ever even seen that movie. I've probably just seen clips of it. Austin Powers was pretty safe when I was a pretty pretty popular when I was a kid. The roping is real. Let, we should definitely make a rope song. This is the rope song. This guy's a freaking cu uh, 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 culinary expert. Isn't this the Trump's wall? <laughs> do I have to do the Trump impression again? Okay. All right, here. All right, all right, everyone. I'm building a wall, and this guy just can't take it. Okay, we're not letting the smash in. We're not letting anyone in. Okay, all right, because America. All right, he's died. See, I'm too great for you. Okay, I'm great. You just have to keep it. Okay. Keep it going. I haven't even uploaded that video to YouTube at the time I'm recording this. I'm late. <laughs> Trump intensified. So groovy, baby. Oh yeah, yeah. Why did he concede? No, he conceded because 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 he felt like he's had no life. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm. Okay, you stink. Why not, Why am I running water chestnuts? By the way, I forget. Ooh. It works. Baby, it twerks, it lurks, it... Okay, this is an Ultimate League HG. I'm slightly scared. I think since we don't have a turn two play. Instead of Chestnut, use Red Stinger. I just feel like we kind of need more early game, but I mulliganed it out in the early game, which isn't a good sign. Oh, we're having a special Baby Fry go over here. So cute. What is this? The most overrated card in the world. Um, this is very good. Thank you. Thank you. I just got lunch. Baby Fry just delivered the the thing. Hey, baby Fry. Say, wave to the camera, Baby Fry. I don't have anything to do this turn, so we're just gonna Baby Fry it up. Wave to the camera. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Uh, okay. That was a nice Baby Fry intermission. Now let's go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he daily. Thing is, I can play a guy with attack right into this thing and kill it. <clears throat> you brought me lunch. It's so nice of you. Bites the dust. Invested so much into that. That was a good one. Okay. B Rex. To be Rex or not to be Rex? Or just go face? I don't know. Probably has another deadly in his hand. I think we'll just go face here, actually. Face him up. I am on a diet, and this is not a cookie. This is a tuna fish patty. Life so graciously. Give me a block. Get locked, scrub. Can we play this? Yeah. I think it'd be greedy to get an extra shot from this thing. Ho ho ho! Oh. 
T-Rex is big enough. Okay. Um, lethal, I think. Guy. Nope. Lethal. Got him. <laughs> My Bananasaurus Rex. Rex. This guy just got Bananasaurus Rex. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Keep it going. Yeah, the overcommittal with the Undying Pharaoh that he got. Where did he even get that from? Get the Undying Pharaoh from? I don't remember history. Where did he get that from, by the way? Everyone's conceding today. We're technically four and out, you guys. Um, these are both good. Uh, pretty much sucks. Yeah, the water chestnuts have to go. They're too expensive and do too little. Maybe instead of the water chestnuts, I'll add in what's it called? It's not a bad idea. We can add in the other dinosaur. Not bad. It grows. It's pretty good. When is the season reset? I have no idea. A new clue. Here we go. What's the best deck for climbing fast? Agro Solar Flare. Without any question. Absolute best one. You win very often, very quickly. It's great against today's meta. Uh, I have a budget version or an expensive version, just check it out on YouTube. Type in Agro Solar Flare with two Gs into YouTube, it will definitely come up. Why does unleavened bread taste like sandpaper? <laughs> Did you eat some matzo time warp? The problem is not that it's unleavened. The problem is, is that it's it's not made with enough water. It's very dry. He played Captain Aggro for two years and killed it. He never won with Aggro Solar Flare. Uh, I'd, I'd have to see your deck list. If you're using my exact deck list and you're just concentrating on going face every turn, mulliganing hard for that one drop, um, it should be working. I mean, I'm winning 90% with it. I don't even know what to do. Build a wall. I'm a dead beard. <laughs> That's gonna be there for a while. Well, essentially we just negated his his environment and this card. Should you try to get all copies of Snakegrass this week? Yeah, sure. Snakegrass is a card that's it's gonna get buffed next season, likely. I think Snakegrass is actually a really good card. Uh, maybe we should try Snakegrass with someone other than Citron. Ramp to Snakegrass would be... Um, it's the smarty guy. And then... Sunstrike? I'll try it actually. Ramp, snake, grass, sun strike, and the and the you know and the little sunflowers will naturally protect them, which is cool. Especially if you have an turn three, not easy to get get out. Go face. Go face. 
<laughs> Extinction Events is a new card that deals well with snake grass. It's not so common though. What percentage of zombie decks that you face? The, no one uses the beastie class because it's the worst class. And even of the beastie heroes, like what percentage of total zombie decks faced even run Extinction Event? Forget about them, then, then they have to draw it. I, I would say not more than 1 out of 25 decks run Extinction Event total, you know? If you're looking at everything. Are all Glass Canyon minions essentially aggro minions? Not necessarily. To have an aggro deck, you gotta get it done. You have to have a theme. Just something that's really expensive and it just has a ton of attack. Isn't necessarily a, uh... Isn't necessarily good. Ooh, the committal is real. Ouch, that's lethal! Look at this! 8, 16, man over committed! Holy moly with that play! <laughs> yes! The 16 damage on 16 health! Oh, it hurts so much, mommy! Oh, it's guaranteed. What is that? Are you kidding me? What do you mean, internet connection? What the heck is this? I'm streaming, okay? There's no problem with the internet. <laughs> Whatever! What? I'm counting that as a win. It guaranteed freaking lethal. It was too powerful! It was too powerful! The internet just couldn't take it, okay? It was the most powerful thing on the internet. What is going on? The servers just went kaput. That's what's going on here. Oh. Alright. Well, while we're waiting for the internet to reconnect, let's do the daily challenge. I would get snake grass, you guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna maybe devote uh, a stream or two to snake grass. Amphibia Citron might also eventually become good again, and that the focal point, core of that type of snake grass. So. I'd love for Citron to become OP next season. Please, game, do it. Just add like three really OP cards for the Smarty class, and then it'll just change the whole meta around. Why not? start the app if it doesn't work after this. Hey, this looks cool. What are we ramping to, though? <clears throat> I don't know. Oh, yeah. It's pretty good, actually. Boop. <laughs> this, is all, this is almost the same deck that we're doing today. <clears throat> You kind of live So I can stand up. Oh, you can overcycle your abilities. Sometimes I don't even know. Extra damage this turn? Yeah. Move a plant. McKay? Why did they start us off with a health nut? Is, is this week even health nut? I thought it was supposed to be sneak grass. Oh, early access. Health nut is early access. Um, health nut is a good card when that comes around. I should consider getting it. <coughs> la, 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 la. Should be fine. We can always play this next turn and give three attack to a bunch of things. But 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 bunch of things. What are you doing really? <laughs> Take out the sunflower at all costs. <laughs> he just had a couple extra, a couple extra smoke bombs in the pocket. Just like yeah, I gotta use them. You know how the game rule goes. If you have it a card, you gotta play it. Spend all your brains every turn. Even if it's useless. Card advantage plays. Go. We have plenty of places to play this, um, this dude. <clears throat> we are Loco Coco! Die. Is it garbage and trash? Boop. I 
think we're gonna play it on top of this useless piece of garbage. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll make the one and give these all to me. I think we're gonna win, mommy. Weak stuff out of here. Yeah, it's guaranteed. Yo, day Can I have win? I hope the sunflower doesn't keep its, its stats and its defense into your hand. I don't like it. Keep it going. <clears throat> okay, let's restart the app. Quickly! Before everyone lose, leaves the stream, quick fry. La 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 la. We're back! I'll cut that part out of the video. No, I definitely won't. I'm definitely gonna forget to. <clears throat> First actual victory instead of it being a good That's what I'm talking about. Come on, game. Game decided to cut poop. It like was a permanent thing. The the insane amount of damage we were gonna do just permanently insanely. What turn was that anyway? It was three. It was it was turn four, I believe. <laughs> it's crazy. Turn four, sixteen damage. Pretty good. <laughs> Double Pecanolith against the Smash. I think two is too slow. Maybe it's not. Maybe we we'll just keep this. I need one more early game card. Nah. Two is too many. Ho ho ho! Alright. I think we'll start off by drawing some cards. <clears throat> oh yeah! Don't mess with dickweed. And suck my dickweed. Doesn't hurt. The, the, the really the zero attack guys can kind of set up, and I forgot to take out the water chestnuts. What I'm gonna do? Loco Coco good counter to Weed Spray. Weed Spray it costs three. Loco Coco costs six, so barely. I would say yes, but barely. What is this? <laughs> this is not gonna be good. <clears throat> I hope this guy overcommits all of his brains right now. All of his brains right now. Foot lettuce? <laughs> Foot lettuce? Die! Piece of garbage. Luck! Oh, <laughs> roll double threes? Are you freaking kidding me? Are you ready? Are you ready? Bumbo? Yeah, why not? When we play the combo the next turn, it's better. Worth it. Worth it? Got a pecan love here, I think. <laughs> Big specs drum major. Maybe Walnut uh, B Rex is better. Probably is. We can always do pecan uh, you know, grape. The turn after. The turn thereafter. Ooh, the, that committal too. This will be do three and three. This is definitely the play. Yeah, yeah. In this case, we do this. My Bananasaurus Rex! Y'all are dead! <clears throat> Is this a stream where you swear? What? He's talking about Sebi Ball. I'm in complete denial. Wow, that walnut didn't even die. I am sadness. My Bananasaurus Rex! I don't think he can afford to even Rolling Stone here. Look, Mommy, I'm a coach. Zero people care. In your underwear. Oh, it's gonna be harsh. 
Why didn't he play this first? What are you doing, man? La 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 la! La 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 la! That's 14 damage. This should work. What's with everyone committing all their all their brains? Come on, man! Quit committing! This should be lethal! Unless he rolls a 3 like a scrub. Wait, no, no! Oh, I forgot! Uh, I didn't protect it! Uh, dang. Look! I forgot he didn't protect the thing if he would have not for the double strike. Ah, uh, anyway. It's okay. Fourteen equals fourteen. I hope he just holds out for weed spray here. Look, if he relies on Rolling Stone, he can't block this. Rolling Stone. <laughs> Worked anyway. Have to do some BM. Uh, three and four? <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Look, mommy, it's a lot of damage now. <laughs> Get that weak stuff out of here! The 14th attack of the Yeah, boy. That's how it's done. I thought I was gonna get lucky with the guard launch. No, no, it's not happening. Not today. Got him. So they got the town. Keep it going. I just wrote down the highlight. You know what I'm saying, you guys. I'm very mature today. Is this a serious deck? Uh, it wasn't made to be a serious deck, but we are 5 0. Oh. We've beaten a DK Valk. We've beaten, you know, Gargalgist type decks. Um, it's performing well. Maybe this is a serious deck. Oh, uh, to get rid of the water chestnuts, quick! Let's make it more serious here. All right, guys, this is serious, okay? Um, more anti weed spray with another pair cup. Oh no, we're gonna add these two guys. These are actually good. Uh, any other changes? Do we turn these into sham rockets now? I like the idea of having three of these guys. There's some serious synergy with this. This thing does end up having a lot of health, which makes it good with blue. <clears throat> I kind of like these less. I'll add in four of these. If this doesn't screw up the deck, I don't think it will. I'm really not liking the little one attack. Kind of annoying. All right, this looks good. Print screen. Let's see if I can make the deck list immediately. Deck list. This is the new. This is the new, newer computer, the desktop. I am back home in Toronto after being on vacation. I was visiting my parents. It wasn't really vacation. Um, in Minnesota, so I actually have a computer that yeah, is good for streaming. This is my laptop. I definitely have to have to crowdfund a. A gaming laptop, come on guys. Uh, this is Grass Knuckles OTK Pecan. Almost done with the deck list. We're almost there. Watch it disappear. And it's updating. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, this is a whole new deck. A whole new deck. Gonna kick your deck. I think this works on four and five. I think let's just keep this. We'll get something to complement this. Stupid guy. I think on heights just to play around our opponent's environments. Kind of weird. Um, oh, I'm not even running a YouTube stream. I totally forgot about the YouTube stream today. Huh. There it is. Now we're on YouTube. It was that easy. Um, what is this gonna be? Swashbuckler, Sumo. <laughs> I 
just don't want the carrot in front of the garlic. Would have been his best place. Now he has to at least do this. I sure hope they don't get weed sprayed this next turn. Ah, garlic. Lily is definitely there. Ooh. Ooh. Daddy. Um. I think Walnut's the play, because then the sumo kills this thing again. I guess this is the play. <laughs> <laughs> we are protected! Move the garlic again? Behind there? Okay. <laughs> it's protected for the, uh, for the thing. Okay? <laughs> it's another sumo now. It's just become a dinosaur deck. Yeah, I know. I, I just turned on my YouTube stream. I forgot to do it. <laughs> yeah, very mature, you guys. Okay, he doesn't have weed spray. That's the good news. Man, he don't even have a weed spray. He don't even have a weed spray. Um, so we could go B-Rex. I think this is better. Take out the one that can kill... This one could probably kill this. <clears throat> it's a gravestone deck. Ooh, watch yourself. <laughs> okay. So that survives. These two trade, which is fine. There's one damage to my face and these two trade, which is also fine. Where is Pecanolith? Duda! Duda! That is Pecanolith. Do, 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 do. It's definitely not a pogo. So it's time to YOLO. YOLO! Watch yourself. He's stealing my block meter? That's called being a piece of garbage trash. <laughs> Landscaper does nothing. Total lack of landscaper intensifying. He should have gotten the garlic, because that's the only one with attack that can actually survive this turn. Alright, so everyone's dead. You're dead. Pecanolith intensifies. This one wins this trade by a large margin. We have a 5 attack, 4, and 3 on the field. B Rex plus. Uh, this is probably better. This will give us a good time. Uh, yeah, nice try. What's in the box? We'll do 5 plus. <laughs> Here's a little Sonic Bloom action. Oh yeah, yeah, is Excavator a good card? Such a general question to, to, to ask. Depends on the deck, of course. I've used it in the huge Giganticus environment that can work pretty well. Okay, so this does, hmm. Ugh, this is so harsh. <laughs> Look at this board. What am talking about? <clears throat> Surprise guard? I don't think there's any reason to dickweed here. I'm a turquoise skull zombie. Zero people care! And flick. Uh, it does not get the, the first one, it only gets the... <laughs> a, a while ago, last season, theoretically, this would have, um... Have, have killed this too because it's AoE. But AoE, again, untrickable means untrickable, which is a good thing. <clears throat> Don't steal my son! What a piece of garbage! So it's B Rex and then this thing again. To be Rex or not to be Rex? Why would he park something here though? Uh, suspicious. This guy's auspicious. We'll do the Sonic Bloom later. I guess let's just do it like this. Ooh, watch yourself. So this will conjure a card. It'll grow both of the B-Rexes. <laughs> we got another Sonic Bloom! Yes, next turn is turn 8. I just wanted it to be Sonic Bloom, Sonic Bloom. What is he doing? Bounces a... Oh, I would love him to survive here. Uh, yes! Yes. Oh, no, wait. Oh, do we actually get eight though? No, wait, that was. Oh, this was turn eight, so this will be nine if I'll steal one of our sons with science. <laughs> He's going face? Why is he going face? <laughs> what is going on here? We got two Sonic Blooms from these two. 
Sonic Bloom intensifies. Uh, I guess we don't have any BM value. We can't play both of them. The first one just wins. Watch yourself! La 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 la. We'll never be able to show him the second one. The first one always kills him. Get that weak stuff out of here! Oh. Alright, so we're six of them now. Oh, isn't that a shame? Keep stealing my son, bro. Get your hands off my son, bro. This game's fun. <laughs> Sonic Bloom is like the perfect card there. Don't say freak or head. I'm trying to keep the stream as Christian as possible. Shut up! You can say freaking heck, okay? <laughs> Shut your freaking mouth! The heck? Okay, bring back Control Neptuna. I tried with Excavator. Didn't work. The problem is, is that Blood Black is too slow. You must know, know him that, though. Oh, 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 oh! It's very weed sprayable, but no one even runs weed spray anymore. Now everyone's just gonna spam the words Excavator. Because we're so mature in the stream. Good guys. Oh, nah. Freck? Oh, Freck is a, is a combination between frickin' heck. Oh, yeah. B Rex. I think we're gonna develop this right now. <clears throat> I would love him to Rolling Stone it. Frog? Did someone just say frog? It's a completely different thing, you guys. If he passes, I'll actually just play this, because science. <clears throat> well, I bring back Tempo Grass Knuckles. Tempo Grass Knuckles isn't that good. They're going to have to kill the, the Valk and the mid range meta a little more for Tempo to be good. Alright, let's just do this. It's not Weed Spray Ball. Oh, Sunstrike? Are you kidding me? It's going to be pretty good. Yeah, nice try. See, Weed Spray did spray just a walnut with the combo open hand. Nice try. I'm untrickable. Look at this guy, he's just, his eyes are set. Like this. I can do the mouth on. What is he doing? What's this man doing? Do we just develop this because science? It's hard to take him. There might be a way, but... He needs... Super or party tree would have done it. Just gotta kill it. Oh, it, oh, it damaged this one. That's so annoying. Good thing his weed spray is gone. <clears throat> right now. Wow. Talk about the committal. Ah, uh, unfortunately. I guess we go with Picanolith and one. It happens to be this will win this matchup then. Is there a better play? They don't have to be kind of lit. It's pretty good to be kind of lit here though. Nah. Goodbye, B Rex. My banana source Rex. And the, 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 they were doing 9 damage to his face, so worth it. Is Mrs. Fry thick? No, very not actually. <clears throat> She's pretty skinny. It's my type. <laughs> Oh, where's plant food? Oh, we have this. Let's see if he commits again. <laughs> Do we have any team ups? No, we can protect this though. It's a wannabe hero with 12. Nice try, dude. Dude. Here we go! <laughs> the Conolith against, against freaking this guy once again does not work! This is protected, so it's actually gonna be taking zero here. That is 12 damage, folks! 12 damage on turn six. Turn six wannabe hero. Get that weak stuff, you and all your health out of here. Oh yeah! It has happened once again, folks, but this time, the Conolith has emerged victorious. The ultimate matchup! That was a nice big one, too. Holy smokes. 
Bam, ba, dum, ba, dum. Look at this deck perform! Who said OTK has to be all in one shot? You usually set up the Health Nut or the Piconolith and then OTK him because it doesn't... It's just you can get him the next turn. That Sunstrike really came in handy. That's what I'm talking about. Dang! Look at look how great this deck is performing. It's not like barely winning also. I, I guess we had one closed game, but... Why are you still winning as control number two? Uh, again, time warp. Ask me some questions I can actually answer, okay? I'll be more than happy to be a blah, to oblige. I don't know what I'm even saying. Do we keep this end? Ah, uh, it's so scary against weed spray. I think we're gonna need something more. Oh yeah, that's exactly what I'm looking for. The party would be good. No one's running. I mean, the guy had a weed spray. He just Neglected to be intelligent. <sighs> so if he sumos, ah, this is a pretty rough walnut. I'm not gonna do it. I'll do it on turn three or something. We'll either do uh, dickweed and then these two on three, or carrot. If he commits with something other than sumo, carrot and then these two on three. <clears throat> Probably sumo, and we'll spike weed it. You never know, though. What's going on, Edge Zamboss? Welcome back. Man, if he has an environment, we are so screwed. It's it's not such high risk doing this play. Kind of is. All right, let's. There's no real good play there. The arm wrestler is, you know, if he has black hole, okay, that's fine actually, I'm super happy as, if that, <laughs> that was actually really good. He had smash power starting off in hand, that can take out any, any of our much bigger cards in this deck, Pecanolith and B-Rex, so super happy to see that. And we have to block at some point, come on, he's hit us now, one, two, oh, three times, okay. Averaging up. Spike weed. Blah. If he if he doesn't play anything, I'm just gonna play Primal Walnut somewhere. <laughs> you BM someone in the woods and no there here. Is it BM? I, I'm gonna assume he's not gonna have. Uh, it's just gay there, assume our landscaper. So let's do this. Would her Repeat Moss do well in this deck? I don't think so. There's no way to actually give her Repeat Moss extra health. So you need a Piconolith and a Repeat Moss and the Grape Responsibilities. It's too it's too high maintenance, so answer is no. Brass Knuckle sounds like a kid. Sounds like an insane old woman, actually. Bum -ba -dum -ba. <sighs> now what? Okay, we'll we'll try to get him to draw out. We'll draw something out here. It drew out a weed spray. <laughs> Good enough. Good enough. Umbrella Leaf and Piconolith to Untrickable. Run Umbrella Leaves in this deck. I think, again, it's a little too circumstantial. What is this guy doing? I can't, it's really hard to... Hmm. Hmm. 
did Popcap patch the Sergeant Strongberry glitch? First of all, it wasn't a glitch. Uh, I was totally legit. This is fine. Uh, so first of all, it wasn't a glitch. Oh, we have the we have an OTK in the in the in the progress here. Compare cub. This is probably doable. Um, it definitely wasn't a glitch. Second of all, this Doom Shroom. Defensive end would be annoying here. Ah, uh, damn. If he had a rolling stone, I think he would have used it already. Hard to say. This is 14 damage. Hold on, just give, give me a second here. This is a little weird. We're gonna try to Deconolith 5, 6, 7 we'll have next turn. <clears throat> Should be fine, sports. Though. He's probably not gonna put anything on lane. He'll probably concentrate much more on, on lane two. Uh, we'll see. Just gotta see what happens here. Ew, this this walnut actually. Um, this will be. Uh, yeah, that's lethal. Uh, yes, that is le. Uh, wait, is it? Hold on. Hold on. Is there a way to actually get guaranteed lethal here? Five. 18. Oh, well, no, he's committed. Oh, yeah, so it's just like this. Ah. Well, I, I guess this is the way. Okay, there's a few ways. <laughs> got him! <laughs> It'll be one. He has an empty block meter, so that's, that's good. Got him, got him, got him! <laughs> So it's gonna be 29 damage. 30 actually. I'll break it even at 30 damage. Yo, dang it! Yeah, we're 8 and 0. Ugh. Math skills intensify. And they always commit. This is the problem with Garg throwing Garg. It's the problem with, with freaking, um, eh, with Wannabe Hero. It's the problem with any zombie card, particularly, that costs 5 or more. And, and your opponent, um,. <clears throat> I, I, any zombie card that costs five or more, um, and and it, it doesn't actually have, it doesn't like pop out of the gravestone and do something like rodeo garg. It just sits on the field. You've committed basically all of your brains, if not all of your brains, and it just lets the the plants do whatever they want with just five, six, seven, eight brains. That, that's the reason why that's no good. I, I say this all the time. People say, oh, fry, uh, we want to be hero and garg from garg. They're okay. They're really not. Really, really not. How could we ever use Smashing Guard? That's why. That's the exact problem. I was in the middle of explaining Sergeant okay. Whoa! Killed him. Got him. I was in the middle of explaining Sergeant Strongberry Loop. This is a decent curve. This is a decent curve. It's one, one to the two, to the two, to the three, to the four. And in, in this deck, I think we actually, the first time we've ever really had the opportunity to play this on one, I believe we will. Ugh. Okay, I don't do this. I don't feel like that needs damage. <laughs> we win the matchup. Um, also makes our opponent play more things in the ground, which makes super better next turn and spike rate. Anyway. Could this deck beat OTK Valk? Yes. This very good against OTK Valk, but the Conolith is one of the things. Building a wall and not destroying the minions, that method of controlling is one of the things. OTK, a quick OTK, which we can definitely do with this deck. High health minions, these are all good against OTK Valk. Plus, the Conolith makes Valk only have six, six attacks, so yeah. Uh, we will do this. It's in, a, in an OTK deck. We're trying to just hit him with a lot of damage. Getting six damage for free is pretty good there. And thank you so much. It's Aether Nursa. Really appreciate the five bucks. Ah, here comes a bit. Oh, oh, here it is. <laughs> that was delayed reaction. That thing flew like 18 feet above the cup. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. 500 bytes. Um. Oh hi, but can you don't speak my real name? Yeah, it's it translates actually um, names. I, I'm I'm guessing this is Cantonese. Uh, it says Cheetah Seven Two One. 
the cheetah is real. Crouching cheetah. I don't know. I think it's Crouching Tiger. That was a good movie. Build a wall on follow, yeah. Sorry guys. We're a build a wall supporter here in the screen. Now what? That was turn two pass. Elzar? I'll take a look. I was gone. Oh, let me explain the Sergeant Strongberry thing. Sergeant Strongberry was not a glitch. It was supposed to work that way. Now I wish they would not have patched Sergeant Strongberry. I thought that was a really cool loop. Um, that the Sergeant the thing that they did change. The thing they changed is the way essentially blocks work. It used to be that if there was damage happening, it would just keep happening. Whether it was certain Strongberry, um, Mirror Nut, Punish Room, as long as the damage was initiated before the block, all the damage would actually go in and hit face, which is why a certain Strongberry loop, which is two certain Strongberries, one of them hits your opponent's face, they just start looping around, or let's say very blast your opponent's face, they'll start looping off of each other until the opponent would just die and they couldn't even block. Now, blocks are absolute. When a block happens, no more damage happens. That's just the way this game goes. Uh, we are going to play this one. Really good lane for the Bananasaurus Rex. We'll also draw a card. I love the fact this thing conjures, and this is might be really, really cool in this deck. The, uh, <laughs> it's pretty good. I don't know, with bonus attack, it's a lot of damage. Um... Oh, oh, you weren't talking to me. Okay, fine. So, so it wasn't a glitch, but they've changed the way block meters work. Now, if you have, if you hit like eight, you know, if you do chick chickening on a field full of mirror nuts, once you block, the mirror nut's gonna stop damaging you. It, it makes it makes a really a lot of differences when they change that game mechanic. I remember when that happened. That was pretty fun. Uh, this guy's just slow boogaloo, doing nothing here. It's probably a control boogaloo, which makes us more wanna, I don't know, not play D-Rex or something. Dog! I think this is fine. You can't really control it. If we play B-Rex, it just gets lightning bolted, usually. I'd love to get time to shine at some point, but he's playing control, so he's not gonna be damned to us. Okay. Now about <laughs> yeah, so we just tend to lightning bolt on a one. Good right? to think about it. That is okay. Um, okay, now I'm looking at Elzar's deck. Strike through Pecanolith with Wall Knight. It's a nice idea. The problem is though, Wall Knight doesn't have time to shine. I don't know if you've noticed, but time to shine is like the thing. I guess you could play Pecanolith on five and then strike through, you know, with grapes on on, on six. It, th th this could work. I'll write it down. It's basically the exact same deck. And then you also have Wingnut. It's really exactly the same deck, though. This deck is completely Guardian, which is cool. You can do this with any hero. Crest Knuckles just has bonus attack. Oh, someone committed. Someone just committed. We'll do this to um, get rid of that dog. I want to move five here. Now that we see this deck archetype works, this is probably how Pecanolith... I, I didn't know about this way of controlling where you actually build a wall. I, I didn't believe in it back in the day. I guess Primal Walnut, uh, Walnut helps a little bit, but this was... He <laughs> went face, okay. McKay. I'm still afraid of doing the Starfruit. What is he going to do about this 4-4, four, four, though? This can just get bungee plumbered. Might be worth it. What's he gonna do? It's not gonna have anything. We're gonna do so much damage to his face here. Starfruit anyway would get blocked. I'd rather play Starfruit with something. I don't know what though. Why did he do that to face though? Why did he Soldier Boy to face there? If he's trying to play control with Soldier Boy and Dog, at least play control, you know? Meaning if he didn't... No, he, I think he... Uh, that's not true. Bungie Plumber is the thing that can take out Starfruit and can't take out B-Rex. Grass still good cardio. <laughs> Fully 
just did the meta. What was I talking about before? Yeah. I'd love to get the star fruit up in here. This McConnell is so good. Da 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 da. Play another. Play two drop. I want to kill you with star fruit. Prick person. Anyway. <laughs> Look, mommy, I'm doing a thousand damage to his face. This is way over twenty, right? We have thirteen in lane four. And then about 11, 16 more in lane, yeah, anyway, so 16 and 13 is 29 damage. Uh, plus 4 is, um, so that's 33, 33 damage we had on him there. Holy smokes! We've gotten weed sprayed a bunch of times too and knocked out. I mean, this happened at least 3 or 4 times, so we're getting weed sprayed and knocked out. The idea is to just try to draw it out of his hands. You have that luxury too and hitting ultimate lead. How appropriate! We hit Ultimate League with OTK Pecanolith, okay? Okay, you guys? Sweet stuff out of here. Watch the gems go up. I love that sound. Got it! We'll do one more here. We'll let the gems load as we uh, get in here. It's 3 7 11. Have you ever played Garden Warfare? No. It looks cool, but I'm not gonna spend time on it. Like Look, mom, get that weak stuff out of here. That's right, Freddy Jack. <laughs> Fry, I could fly a plane off of your forehead. That's not nice. That just means I have a big head and a lot of brains. So I'll take that as a compliment, actually. Um, three, four, five. The plant food on a four tech guy isn't bad. I don't know, you think Ultimate League Super Brains with its running Leprechaun is gonna be the one guy that can take this deck down? E Fry Fandam. I Fry Fandam? Who says, No! People are calling their bets. Watch him get Pot of Gold here. No! What's the best PVZ game? Not this one, for sure. PVZ 1 was a masterpiece, though, too. I, I like this one in PVZ 1. PVZ 2 is like, uh, I don't know. <clears throat> Man, this Pecanolith is gonna be... He doesn't have... Super Rains doesn't have any great way of dealing with Pecanolith. Deadly? I don't know. can always protect against Deadly, so this is amazing. <sighs> I'm not scared of the guy running the old. I mean, this is like someone who's been out of the game and then just decided that he's gonna bring back Blob. Let's watch, see if this is a Blob deck. You know, Blob Mustache Monument doesn't work, right? Good. Teleport, deadly, good. So you basically trade a mustache monument for a garlic. Okay. That's fine. No, no, <laughs> moving around. <laughs> Swing and a miss. <laughs> nice try. Nice try, though. This card before. What is the play here? These two? Protect bonus attack? Huh? Huh. I think it's like this. <laughs> Make a swabby. All right, we're we're slowing down a little bit. That mustache monument actually is causing us some pretty major problems here. Um, it's possible we'll bonus attack the haircut next turn. Let's see what happens. 
That makes a swabby. Actually, he doesn't proc the block now because of that swabby. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> He's getting a lot of value out of that nebula. I have some significant threats on the board. Second block. Cuddle of Protect isn't bad. Oh. Moon Rising. Slow. We could probably do a bonus attack and beat him next turn. See if he has Bad Moon Rising here. Teleport. Link Walker. Oh! That's hard. Dang! Gets nothing there. Okay, so this does one. Hopefully we'll block the Link Walker. Link Walker is dead. The, could I actually teleport Plank Walker again? It's a ramp deck. You're freaking kidding me, man. So he has committed. There's no team up potential here, unfortunately. <clears throat> What, what power do we get that wins? Time to shine. On this block. Actually, he has a full block meter. Do we have nine next? Time? I think that's right still. No, we only have eight. Wait. Dun 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 dun. It depends what he does here. We needed one more, one more sun. We would have won here. Time to shine would have. If we would have held on to our time to shine, no, we still have one. So roll of one. Ah, come on, man! How come we always win nine straight games, then we lose to some weird deck that just overpowered us by ramping? Come on! <laughs> so what? I should have put Conlift earlier. I don't think there's anything I really could have done there. Time to shine, but Conlith would not have done it though, because they would have had 10 health, you guys. That's why I did that. I, 
I wasn't sure if we had eight or nine sun. It turns out we had eight sun and he had nine brains. Come on, man. <laughs> anyway, guys, that was the OTK Pekinolith deck. Uh, this is interesting. You can almost do this deck with Wall Knight and Sunstrike, maybe. Maybe I'll do that sometime. But this this really worked out, similarly to the um, to the Citron Pekinolith deck. It's a total new way of controlling. You actually control them by putting health and a wall up, and then you just play this Pekinolith that makes your wall actually do attack. I think I'll definitely take it. Alright guys, hope you enjoy. Peace! This is Fry. Ugh. The salt.